I'm back at the uh, bridge laser and what I'm going to demonstrate right now is the center of your embroidery machine origin is not the center of the laser beam and that's because I can't the, in order to do that the laser would have to be here directly underneath and there are lasers that do that on some machines the problem is that you have to have a small powered laser in every single location and the pantograph is doing the moving and the pantograph is never perfectly round it's always like uh, X and Y movement so that's really not at all in the same ballpark it's like comparing a bicycle to a UPS truck to deliver packages it's not the same realm of technology even though the word laser is being used so I'm just gonna st stitch out a crosshair so that you can see a contrast on the uh, hoops, the large and the small hoop, and then I can show you by firing the lasers maximum field that they don't line up and then why you have to shift it. So uh, where's my button here? So take a look at this, and what I did was I stitched the maximum field that I could stitch for this hoop, but I also put in a larger hoop. Obviously, if I stitched on this hoop, I would hit the, the, the rim or the, the actual hoop here, so I didn't do that. But this is the center of the hoop. And what I'm gonna do now is send the laser over, and I'm gonna fire the largest field I can. But understand that even though this is framed out as far as possible, keep an eye on this X and notice that the center of the laser see that green tape over here? Keep an eye on that green tape how it relates to the X in the embroidery hoop. So uh, just to make sure it's perfectly clear, the center of the frame in the embroidery machine is based on where the needle can stitch. And then the frame or the pantograph comes out and the center of the stitching area is exposed. The issue with the bridge is that the bridge isn't over here, it's in front. So the center of the laser is not the center of the embroidery machine and therefore you have to often put your designs off to the side. With the NGL you never have to do that because you're taking the hoop off putting it underneath the center of the laser because there's no embroidery machine restriction. So watch what I do when I send that laser over. Keep an eye on that green tape and how it relates to the center line here, alright? Yeah, I, I can see it here. Uh, is the microphone still working? Okay. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can see this on the YouTube video or on the DVD, but we, we etched a box over here. And what I'm going to do right now with the marker is mark out the corner so that you can see the extremity. And it's even hard for me to see. I'm just tracing the edge of the laser because it's a fine line.
There's a box over here. So take a look now. As close as you want to get the laser over to the front of the embroidery machine, you can still never quite get it underneath. So I should have used maybe a different color, but this here, this line here is the center of the embroidery machine stitch, and this is the center of the laser bridge. This becomes an issue because you have to center your design in this area right over here. Okay, if you have the Michelin Man, you have to do something like that. And it's at this point where the laser is cut off. So you can't, if your Michelin Man is over here, it's not going to get cut on the top half.